rolling around in my way, so I didn't want to step on it. All right, man. I appreciate it. No problem. And it actually looks a lot better in here with no batteries. All right, batteries. We got two AGM 31s. These came with the boat. This is the one I added because I ended up going 36 volt on the trolling motor. This came with the boat too. This DECA 1000 cranking amp, size 24. And this is a house battery I added. So all these were in the console. We'll go run to the store, use those two as core charges. Get two more of these. One for cranking, one for house battery. I still don't want to use lithiums for the, I guess for the alternator. There's something I don't want to mess with that's messing with that engine. I'd like to keep the alternator charging AGMs or lead. And over here we got two 140 amp hour 12.8 LI time, LI time. These are going to be the new batteries for the trolling motor. So we're going to go lithium here, super light. But these are the same size as these group 31s. So they should fit an exact little cradle in the boat in the console. All right, got the two interstates taken back to the store. Using for cores and got these two Optima 34Ms. They're group size 24, pretty much like this cranker. They're 870 cranking amp and 750 cold, so at least 50 cranking amps cold. But I think that starter in there only takes like 300 cranking amps or something. And I'm probably gonna make a couple of my own little wires here. All right, so now you can see why I went with the 24 volt system, because this Altera Quest can use 24 or 36 volts. So at least I have one less battery. But I'm going to have to take this 27 tray out on the left, move this 24 tray right here with the 27. That spot's going to be empty up there now. And the two trolling motor batteries are going to go right here. And for the trolling motor, I do have an actual kill switch for it. But all it had was either one or two and combine. This is actually the switch that came with the boat on the outside. I'll show you where it came from. The new switch just has off, on, and combine. And when you turn it on, it actually turns on two circuits, two separate 12 volt circuits. And that's what you need if you want to run the charging relay, the ACR. I guess I'll explain what's going on over here while I'm in here and it's pretty empty. 800 watt kicker amp. Here's the power wires for it. The ground, I just got it tangled up in here so it's out the way. The positive is going to be this green wire going through that fuse. All right, and here you'll see that green and brown wire, these two go directly to the cranking battery right onto the post. Okay, on this side, it could get a little bit complicated, but it's really not. Um, let's see, this is gonna be my main Yamaha ground to the engine, to the trim, to the jack plate, just laying in there. It goes to the cranking battery. There's the positive that goes to the cranking battery. And it goes into this side of the switch, out this side of the switch. And then this one goes back to the motor. On the bottom, we're going to have the house battery positive, this one. And it outputs through the side right here. So everything you want to run off your house battery runs out the side. We're going to have, these are all the switches on the console. Just this little wire where it says main. This runs all the switches on the console, the USB that the boat came with. That's the main for that. I guess it's resettable. Then I got a 4 gauge coming out up to this kind of just a regular house block comes back out to a fuse box this wire comes out goes up to the t-top and that's how i control the lights and the eight gauge wire I had down there comes right into this fuse block and this is all electronically controlled by some buttons on the console and here's the controller for it and here you can press light bar and the lights i have the floodlights i have uh or i guess they're called spreaders you can go from amber to just bright white or have both of them on amber or bright white that's going to be the anchor light. This is going to be under the console. These are going to be the side lights. And these are the spreaders in the back. Multicolor side lights. Light bar. And I got some other wire hooked up here. And these go to the lights, the underwater, uh, what are they called? Sea blaze lights in the back. There's the wire for it. And it's fused. And these are the actual lights it goes to. But everything comes out this side of the switch, so this is never pulling off of the actual cranking battery. It's always pulling off the house battery. The way I got them combined, on both outputs, there's a wire here, and coming out the house battery here. They both run into 
the 60 amp breaker so that's gonna be that so it's gonna be this red wire and this red wire going to the breakers the two blacks go up to the actual charging relay right up in there and that's pretty much how the system works you know anytime that the boat's running it actually combines the batteries without you having to turn the switch to combine when you turn the switch off it turns off everything except for the auto build the auto build is just a little fuse out here you can put onto a battery if you want it to automatically pump this is the only thing that will run with that switch off on the whole boat and on the grounds I was telling you this is the main ground it's going to go to the negative of the cranking battery then you still got to jump from the negative of the cranking battery to the negative of the house battery so that means there's going to be a jumper wire from the cranking battery to the house battery probably like a two foot wire and then this actually goes onto the house battery this ground which is very nasty that ground goes right up to this ground bus bar that's pretty much where I put all the grounds for everything even this charging relay takes a ground it says fuse the ground so I got a little fuse on there and it just goes right to the ground block another ground block up there all right back here behind all the wires we got the three bank charger which just comes out this little access hole All this wood in here has been in here for about four years. You see it's holding up really good. It's just screwed through the outside of the console. Like these screws. I just made sure they were three quarter inch so they didn't go through the wood all the way. And here's another light time. This one's a 230 amp hour 12 volt. It usually runs about 13.2 volts on the graphs. It used to run five graphs. That's a trolling motor wire I'm still working on and then six gauge going back to the console it's got its own 10 times one lithium charger up here with the plugs in here it's supposed to be it's supposed to be for the trolling motor but i just have the charger in here now that six gauge wire goes right back to these other connectors so i can run the graphs inside the console on these light time batteries it has a little app you can get for light time and scan these qr codes for bluetooth and very easy to do. You can see on here it says 99% charge, 100% charge. It tells you current, power, capacity, voltage. Step one, move that 24 mounting plate over here and take this 27 mounting plate out. All right, battery number one is coming through the front hatch. Battery number two. Since I'm going only two trolling motor batteries, I put the third leg of the charger on here. I'll just set it on AGM on the charger, and all the other ones I'll put them on lithium. All right, so only thing we got left is trolling motor batteries. I'm gonna go ahead and do a system check. Turn the power on. Now this turns on both batteries, and this is just gonna be on standby until the alternator's charging the cranking battery. Then I'll go over to the house battery. This green light will lit, be lit solid, it means it's connected. So right now both batteries are on, but they're not connected to each other. So I should have jack plate, I should have trim, and I should be able to crank. And on the house side, we should have, yeah, see, so the radio works. And all this is run off the house side. All right, so now we're gonna throw in the trolling mode batteries. I still got this pull string that goes to the rear of the boat. I'm probably gonna chop it. I really don't wanna run any more wires back there. All right, we got the trolling motor batteries in. That's a little jumper wire I made. I'm actually kind of proud of it. Kind of suck at uh, crimping and heat shrinking, but I actually burnt it right there too. But it's uh, charger cable number one. I'm gonna count this as battery number one, battery number two. That's gonna be battery number three, the house battery. I'm gonna go plug the charger in, make sure that uh, everything's set to lithium or AGM. I still haven't found a place to put these. Base knob and USB extender. And that base knob and amp actually go to a sub that's under my seat. I probably showed you this before, but if you haven't seen it, it's just a truck box mounted under here, 10 inch solo barrack. And I just put metal on it so it doesn't rot too bad, but it's been in here for about four years and it hasn't rotted. Yeah, they're all white AGMs back there. Number one is lithium now. 
Number two is lithium now. One's lithium, two's lithium, and three's, I think it's on AGM. Make sure to wear your seat belts. You don't want these batteries bouncing around and losing connections. Guys, this thing is a beast. Completely heavier than the first gen. Way bigger, way heavier. Hopefully the bolts line up with the old holes. We'll find out. All right, with the side plates taken off, completely easier to mount. You can actually put the bolts in without taking off the shock on the old one. On this side, there'd normally be a deploy motor right here. You can get to all these bolts really easy. So I got the one with just the regular 2D sonar. I didn't want to get the Mega. I already have a Mega on the back on the transom and I didn't want this to be extra bulky. And I think it's like 350 bucks more. Side plates look really nice, kind of a really nice finish. I'm kind of glad I went black. I'm trying to switch everything to black anyways. Everything I can, rub rails, these speakers. I'm probably gonna get them in black next time. All right, things to consider. I'm trying to keep this within the gunwale. Then I'm imagining it flipping up and not hitting the graph mount. So I think it's gonna clear the graph mount right there. I'm pretty sure I can get to three or four bolts after I drill them. Right here, the way I feel like the other one was mounted, it was a little bit more port side. So the wires went right in the hole. But I think because of this opening, how big it is. See, I got it braced on a Makita light. Because of that size of that opening, it has to actually be a lot more overhang. And the overhang in this one is crazy. This is probably about eight inches. I think that's where we're going with. This one's going to end up right on a weld, but I reached my hand in there and I could reach it. All right, these are the old holes, new holes. Not even close to lining up. And on this side, same thing. Old holes, new holes. We're in there. Got a bolt in there. It's fun to have to make the hole a little bit extra. Now on this side, this bolt went in really good. This one, I had to do a little bit of grinding. There's no way to get past this with the long bolts. I even tried to take this off, but it just keeps spinning. So I grind half the bolt off. Next part, open this, get my hand in there, get bloody, and put the nuts on it with the nylon. All right, we got it bolted on. All I can say about this, one bolt can pull a whole boat. All right, so this network cable going to the Solex 15, and it came with actually about a 25 foot cable. I just ran it out this hole, right onto here. Transducer, I'm just gonna leave it tucked up here for now. And it's gonna be the power for the trolling motor. I think before we shut this, we're gonna go ahead and turn on electronics battery. I should have suck 15s on. Really didn't get that many cuts. It's like two or three. No trolling motor. Turn it on. All right, first time pressing the power button. Look at this, I think the trolling motor connected and it's asking me all this other stuff now. Lithium, 24 volt, amp hours, 140, man this is fancy, alright so it's online, let me see what's next, this, this, oh there's the deploy button, I don't know if I should hit it yet, <laughs> alright let's just do it, this one, Stow, deploy. Oh yeah, I probably gotta hit pause. Nice. Stow. Back in business. Let's go. Yeah. Looks like our clearance looks good. That's what I was worried about. Throw a prop on her.
up, down, left, oh, hit the trailer, right, stow, And I think here you just want to make sure you leave enough cable for tangles. This remote's not touch screen, so you gotta press right. I think you press this button. Stow and press right. So we're already paired. And I think on the heading sensor, I think this one has a built-in heading sensor, so we might not need this anymore. Alright, I think we got her done. Go ahead and shut her off. And this one. 